Xbox. Hello everyone, and welcome to another game on Pancake Games. Today, we're going to play a game I haven't played before, but I've seen some trailers of and a couple clips of. And today, we're going to be playing The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. I thought it would present the title much sooner. There we go. Look at that. Game of the Year Edition on Xbox One. Uh, again, I haven't played this before. I've played Skyrim and Oblivion in that order. <laughs> uh, and I've read a lot of lore about the Elder Scrolls, so that's how I'll know stuff about this. But other than that, I'm basically clueless, so let's do it. Each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the hero, there is no event. I don't know who said that. In the waning years of the third era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Oh, many fall, but one remains. Wake that up. was the last thing it said. What are you here? Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Well, it's not Jib, but hi, Jib. That's something I've been contemplating is, do I name it, am I going to make myself or am I going to make a character? I figured I'd go with a Star Wars inspired name. I'm going to go with the name Revan. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Mm, I doubt that. Comes the guard. <laughs> this is where you get off. Come with me. Thank you. Who are you? You better do what they say. Oh, he looked over his shoulder. He ain't happy. I can't search any of this stuff. Very wet outside. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. What if I make it uncivil? Who are you? <laughs> uh, okay, I know how to do that. The sooner we can move on. Okay, Miss Sassy, but I want this pie. Oh, it's bread. Yes. Well, it should be pie. Uh! Okay, okay. Hatch to Satanine. This is where they want you. Hello. Head down to the dock, and I'll show you to the census office. It's a cute little ship. Oh, and even the lantern's moving. Man, 2002 got detail. Hello. You said your name. <laughs> okay. Alright, I figure I'm gonna go with a dark elf. Uh, can't really make him look like me, so... I figured I'd just give him a little, little face tattoo. Piercings. <laughs> the, the hero, the Nereverin. <laughs> Thanks. And they'll finish your release. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Um, I want to hear what he has to say. Answer his questions. On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. What do you do? Use herbs from your pack to put it to sleep? Question mark? What does that mean? Draw your dagger, mercifully ending its life with a single thrust? Do not interfere in the natural evolution of events, but rather take the opportunity to learn more about a strange animal that you have never seen before. One sure. Afternoon, your father gives you a I went with that. Chores. What would you rather do? Work in the forge with him casting iron for a new plow? 
to go catch fish at the stream using a net and line? Gather herbs for your mother who is preparing dinner? Oh, dinner sounds great. Um, let's work the forge. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname, and even worse, likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have asked him Oof. to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. What do That's you do? cute. Beat up your cousin, then tell him <laughs> if he ever calls you that nickname again, you will bloody him worse than this time. Make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honor instead of something humiliating. Make up an even more embarrassing nickname for him and use it constantly until he learns his lesson. Uh, I'm gonna make up a story. There is a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. They've been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth or not. You believe what? Hmm. In these times, it is a necessary evil. Although you do not necessarily like the idea, a telepath could have certain advantages during a time of war or in finding innocent of a crime. Loyal followers to the king have nothing to fear from a telepath. It is important to have a method of finding assassins and spies before it is too late. This is a terrible practice. A person's thoughts are his own, and no one, not even a king, has the right to make such an invasion into another human's mind. Um, I mean, I do agree with that, but also kind of during war, or if it's like to deal with crime, Your that makes sense. You to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake, a shopkeeper has given you too much money back in exchange for one of the items. What do you do? Pocket the extra money, knowing that shopkeepers in general tend to overcharge customers anyway. Decide to put the extra money to good use and purchase items that would help your family. Return to the store and give the shopkeeper his hard-earned money, explaining to him the mistake. Oh, wait. So he gave me too much money? Um, well, if he gave me the money, I'm not going to buy more stuff in front of him. I'll give it back to him. While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. What do you do? Pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing that the extra windfall will help keep your family in times of trouble. Pick up the bag and signal to the guard, knowing that the only honorable thing to do is return the money to its rightful owner. Leave the bag there, knowing that it is better not to get involved. Uh, I'd, I'd give it back. Just be like, hey man, it's your, your money, do you want some? You on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you, in return for a future favor of his choosing. What do you do? Hmm. Accept his offer, reasoning that as long as the stables are cleaned, it matters not who does the cleaning. Ask him to help you, knowing that two people can do the job faster than one, and agree to help him with one of his tasks of his choosing in the future. Decline his offer, knowing that your father expects you to do the work, and it is better no to be in debt. Not to be in debt. Um, I would ask him to help me, and then I'll be like, I'll help you with something later, my guy. Your mother asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls towards her. What do you do? Position yourself between the pipe and your mother. Grab the hot pipe and try to push it away. Push your mother out of the way. Um, I guess I would push her. That would make sense. Like, what's falling, just push her. I, I ain't gotta touch it or get in the way. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted mm. to take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands the sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, first off, what are these questions? Do you just make these up? And how old am I? Are you asking these to like a four-year-old? Act like you're going to give him the sweet roll, but at the last minute, throw it in the air, hoping that they'll pay attention to it long enough for you to get a shot on the leader. Ooh. 
drop the sweet roll and step on it, then get ready for the fight. Give him the sweet roll now without argument, knowing that later this afternoon you will have all your friends with you and you can come take whatever he owes you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. Entering town, you find that you are witness to a very well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him seems very angry. What do you do? Stand aside and allow the man and mob to pass, realizing that it is probably best not to get involved. Rush to the town's aid immediately, despite your lack of knowledge of the circumstances. Rush to the man's aid immediately, despite your lack of knowledge of the circumstances. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to get involved. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Your personality and past reflect a spell sword, which is the class I was probably going to be playing as, because, yeah. Wow, look at that. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Oh. I think I'm going to go with the steed. I think, uh... Extra 25 speed is going to help me in the long run. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Oh, gosh. You know what? Everything seems good here. Bert? Bert was Bert your name? Sokoku Quiz. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Fee? Can I take your st oh, I probably shouldn't take your stuff. What do you want? Persuasion. Training. Persuasion? I don't admire him. That's crazy. Get lost. Okay. Take your papers off the table and go see Captain Gravius. You'll go no further until you have your papers. Imperial Legion. The Legions hire qualified recruits of proven skill and character and pro provide training, goods, and services at discounts. The lower ranks are common troopers and officers, but the upper ranks include the orders of the Imperial Knight. Imperial. Imperial. Our civilization has brought peace and prosperity to all Tamriel. We place our faith in hard work, education, and discipline. We prefer free trade and diplomacy, but are not ashamed to use force. Okay. Bye. You'll go no further until you have... Hold on, I'm just looking around. Got a nice, uh, tapestry. Limeware platter. Ooh. Take this, I guess. For release by Emperor Uriel Septims the Seventh. Decree to the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morrowind. Revan, Dark Elf, Spellsword. Signed, Socrocius Ergala, agent of the Sadanine Imperial Census, and exercise, 16th of last seed, 3rd era, 427. So close to 420. Whoops, I need that. Thank you for telling me how to use menus. Oh, hey, that's my guy. <laughs> I'm just wearing common clothes. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. Can I not leave? Oh wait, I can ask you about the Imperial Legion? The Imperial Legion provides security for the census and ex excise offices here in Sedanine. The troopers you see here are assigned to guard duty here, and the troopers outside in Sedanine, they're guards. Officers of the law. <laughs> okay. Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullus Gravius. I have to talk to someone else? Should learn how to do combat. Pick the dagger on the table by activating it with the A button. I'm just gonna take a dagger. Just take these. Short blade, one hand. Oh wow, there's so many different attack styles. Equip the dagger in inventory menu. What's this note? Note to Hrisker. Hrisker. Don't think I've forgotten our wager. I want this dagger sharp as a scamp's claw by morning. Gansiel. Aren't you Gansio? Oh. Hey, I have your dagger. <laughs> you recognize this? Okay. He doesn't. How do I know if I'm stealing? I want your stuff. What if I close this door? Am I, am I cool to do stuff over here? 
Cool. I'll I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay, I literally took everything, including the torches on the walls. I think I'm ready to move on. That's a vampire? That looks like a dragon priest. And now I have to walk over to this building? Oh, cool map. That's fun. Another barrel. Engraved ring of healing? Okay. Now a magic menu. Thank you. Hello. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celis Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Release identification has been removed from your inventory. Background Imperial Imperial Legion. Do these answer different things? I'm proud to be an Imperial. Though our legions and rule of law will wait through our <laughs> through our legions and rule of law, we've brought peace and civilization to the provinces of Tamriel. The legions higher quality. I've already read that. Morrowind. Yes, you are in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here. Me either. Or why you were released from prison, prison and shipped here. Me either. But your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septim Seventh himself. I feel like that family is just a cesspit of prophecy. Anyway, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor. So pay careful attention. But what about your background? I am Celis Gravius, a knight errant of the Imperial Legion. What about your duties? This package comes with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cosades. Oh, I know him, in the town of Balmora. I know that place. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius Cosades. They'll know where to find him. Ser serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal of to your name. Dispersal? Your journal's been updated. Uh, Balmora. Bemora is north of Sedanine. The road passes Pelagiad Village and Fort Pelagiad. Cross. Wait. And Fort Pelagiad crosses a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmoth, then turns west across the Odai River and into Balmora. Good. Gra wow. South Wall Corner Club is in southeast Balmora, on the east side of the river. For more detailed directions, talk to Alone the Scout at Aurelius Trade House here in Sedanine. But take my advice. You're new here. Take the Silt Strider to Balmora. Nah. Caius Cosades. Report to Caius Cosades in Balmora. I can't tell you where to find him, but you are to go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for him. Someone there can direct you to him. Okay, what about my trade? My trade. I am a knight errant of the Order of Ebonheart and an Imperial Emissary attached to the Census and Excise Office here in Sedanine. Silt Strider. Silt Striders carry passengers and cargo between settlements on Vardenfell. Fares depend on distance to be traveled. Silt Striders are giant insects. A compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed from the creature's shell. The driver directs the beast by directly manipulating exposed organs and tissues. Silt Striders travel between Alderun, Baldmora, Sedanine, Suran, Nissus, Molagmar, Margan, and North Landing. Can I not scroll down? Oh, there we go. North Landing near Vivek. <laughs> Thanks. I know most of those places. Uriel Septum. Yes, Uriel Septum is still the Emperor. According to my instructions, he personally authorized your release from prison and your delivery here. It's all very mysterious, but that's the way the Empire works. Silence. Secrecy. Let not the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Seems like a bad idea. The Empire. Yes, of course, this is the Empire. <laughs> This is Vardenfell District of the province of Morrowind, and Morrowind has been part of the Empire for over 400 years. The current Emperor is Uriel Septim, 24th of the Septim line. You haven't been in prison that long, have you? Nothing wrong with your head, is there? 
The men said you were acting a little strange when they brought you in from the ship. Did they now? Might have to have a chat with them. I already done this one. Yeah, you did. Alright, I think that's all you gotta tell me. It says I shouldn't persuade you. Hear what? I already talked to you. Leave me alone. Press the white button. That's not helpful. Check out Aurelius Trade House up on the left. You're now on your own. Good luck. I am on my own. But, oh cool, I can save it. I'm gonna end that one there. And we're gonna call this one, uh, one. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye.